Yeah, well, Jasmine, if you could see right behind me, things are really starting to ramp up. You know, as we touch base here early this morning, the rainfall was coming down pretty consistently, but now the winds, the intense rain, everything has started to ramp up. As we were waiting, listening to Rob's forecast, it was a stark contrast to what it is we have going on right now. Uh, our photojournalist Taylor Bonin could just take a look at this. I mean, already this rain is coming in at full force, and this is just a testament to the preparation in St. Mary Parish. A lot of people are not out, thankfully. Their businesses have been boarded up, and I had the opportunity to go to the St. Mary Parish Clerk of Courts. We have a soundbite from one of the officials I met there. Can we cue that up? We're confident that we're in a good place right now, but of course, we're not leaving any stone unturned. We're checking with people. We're, we have our uh, sheriff department that's making rounds just to ensure that nobody in this last hour uh, is, is left in a vulnerable uh, position. Yeah, so this is just one of those situations where thankfully things are looking okay, but as this rain continues to ramp up, we're going to do our best to bring you guys coverage. As you can tell, I'm already getting pelted with the rain, the wind, and I even had to switch jackets. So things are getting pretty intense out here, but we're going to do our best to keep you guys updated. But for now, I'm Joshua Moten, your St. Mary Parish reporter in Franklin, sending it back to you guys in the studio. Uh, thanks, Josh. Now, a reminder this morning, schools across Acadiana are closed until the storm passes. To see the full list of closures, you can head over to our website at KATC.com. Right now, we're taking a look at flights that were scheduled for departure ahead of Francine. But as you can imagine, those flights have been impacted. Take a look at your screen. According to the flight director at Lafayette Regional Airport, all afternoon departure flights are canceled, and the majority of flights coming in were canceled for the day. Now, several shelters have opened across Acadiana to help our neighbors in need. They are listed on your screen now for more information on what you need to bring before entering the shelter and what some of the services they're offering. Make sure to visit our website at KTC.com.